Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, but we're not going to talk about Hasbro stepping on a rake or another F up with Wizards of the Coast. We're going to talk about an F up and overcorrection. Uh, a couple of years ago, an episode of Community was pulled off of streaming because of an episode that featured Dungeons and Dragons and one of the characters wearing blackface because they were trying to cosplay as a drag. When we say blackface, we mean actual, literal black makeup, like that. Like, it yes. wasn't like, I'm making fun of black people. It's like literally being black because the character was, you know, actually the color black. Right, and for those of you who don't know, who don't play Dungeons and Dragons, who have no familiarity with it, uh, the drow are dark elves. They live underground. They have dark skin. In the 80s and 90s especially, they were almost coal black. They were depicted as being uh, darker skin than they are now. Now they're more purple. Yeah, you see them um, now they make like, and like, and you know, most of you people that are, are black will relate to that, that anymore that you no longer, you know, shades of brown, you are purple, purple. according to art in modern day. And that's what they're doing. Like Wizards newer, uh, you know, art featuring the drow, featuring Dritz in particular, but make him like a shade of purple. But it's kind of weird because they're so afraid of this topic now that uh, even Spirit Halloween has a Dritz costume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. But they race bend it. Because you, know, you always bend. say they never bend uh, dark characters to white. Well, we got one. We got one. Because <laughs> so. they were afraid. They're probably thinking, like, how do we do this? Do we get a black guy? No. Do we get a white guy and put him in? No. Okay, we're just going to go for Legolas then. Because that's, yeah, that's, that's basically what, that's it basically is. what this is. So um, we're going we're gonna to talk about this. And, uh, again, one of the actors of Community coming out and saying, hey, this should not have happened. This was an overcorrection. Uh, it was not meant well, to be racist. Now that all of Twitter is pretty much Britta, you know, we have to. Britta was the villain, right? You guys get it. Like everybody hated her. She she was a social justice warrior and they yeah. couldn't stand her. And that This show could not be made. It's kind of funny. I saw an article the other day talking about The Office, how The Office couldn't get made current year, but I'm like, community's way And they're not that old. We're talking 10, 15 years. And, and yeah, this show could not get made today. It was a very diverse, very funny show. It was genuinely funny. And, uh, you know, self aware. It, it was very self aware. And unfortunately, we can't even make jokes. I was like, you know, we're watching the other day um, the uh, uh, Flash gets Transformers, you know, the trans. Oh, yeah. We showed it to my sister. Yeah. That came out in 2016. And now it's like, okay, it was a parody in 2016. And, and it's reality in 2023, given the way Hasbro's going. And it was a joke, right? We can't make jokes anymore. Oh, no, if you watch it, you're a horrible person. You're a horrible person. I remember it when. It's funny, though. The episode came out. This is 2011. They're praising Dr. Ken. They're like, hey, uh, this is funny. This is funny stuff because it wasn't meant to be racist. And again, intent matters. People don't get that. It was a character. It was a character. Well, no, I think, I think that was a joke. You can't. The joke was you can't do that. Yes. And, you know, that was it was the joke. Like They knew you couldn't do that. They weren't like glorifying it. They're like, you shouldn't be doing that is basically the joke. <sighs> so there's nothing in the episode that is glorifying doing that or saying it's OK. No, but it's also. The point was, it was somebody. It was they were they were getting offended by it, but it was actually the way the character looked. They were like, "Oh my god!" But yeah, the truth is, back especially advanced D and D back in the eighties, the drow had like almost coal black skin. The purple is a new. That's a wizard's thing. Purple is the new black. <laughs> purple is the new black. Right? <laughs> ginger is too. You know, so no, the black is the new ginger. I guess. Oh, okay, purple is the new black, and black is the new ginger. Let's talk go. about it. Let's talk about it before we get into it any further. If you like the content, please give us a sub. You'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! And if you don't like the content, well, fuck off. Anyway. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's going to be the new thing. We're going to have a button. We're going to have a woohoo button and a fuck off button. There you go. Because um, we get people like, I used to watch Clownfish. And then no, they didn't. started doing it. It's like, no, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. They loudly, they come, into the con they come into the comments with a brand new account. I used to watch Clownfish, but then they changed. It's like, yeah, the thing I've changed is maybe I don't yell as much. <laughs> we actually have, have gotten tamer over the years. We need to be spicier. I think we need to be spicier. Um, oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought you said karate for some reason. No. <laughs> we need to be spicier. Karate. I'm like, what? Anyway, go ahead. All right. So this is uh, Yvette Nicole Brown. Uh, she was an actress on Community. She was Shirley, the religious yes. zealot, and she was which is another stereotype. It was all about stereotypes. It was all about stereotypes. And people could laugh, and now that you're allowed to do that, unless you're stereotyping white people, then it's right. completely fine. And uh, Christians, you're allowed to. 
But she was an enigma because she was a brown Christian. How's you know? <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's one of those that means about which button you push. Uh, she came to the defense of season two's Advanced Dungeons and Dragons episode, which has been pulled from Hulu, saying she hopes streamers will reconsider their decision to pull the fan favorite episode from rotation. Uh, three years ago, Advanced D and D was pulled from streaming platforms due to a scene in which uh, Ben Chang, Ken Jeong, cosplays as a drow, a dark elf, being interpreted as blackface. Right. During a recent interview with io9, Brown, who played Shirley Bennett on Community, offered her thoughts on the matter. I can say, first of all, that I am really sad that the episode is no longer in rotation. She said, I think the reason that it was pulled, and this is a black person speaking. This is a black person speaking. A non-Twitterized black person speaking. Yes. I think the reason it was pulled was an overcorrection. I agree 100%. Black person saying it's an overcorrection, and I think they should fix that. Ken's character played a drow and they have black skin. It was not Ken in blackface. And I think that anyone that understood Dungeons and Dragons would have understood the distinction. That yes, was exactly. the joke. Yes, exactly. That and was I, the joke. She's completely correct. Um, and again, you know, regardless of where you're at politically, I am seeing more people on the left, more old heads like ourselves coming out and being like, you know what? Yeah, I think things are going a little too far. You mean rational people? Rational people are like, we understand comedy. We understand jokes. We understand if something is meant to be social commentary or legitimately mean-spirited, right? This was not meant to be mean-spirited. This was like, oh my God, why are you wearing blackface? It's like, no, I'm just a drow. Well, you know, I got to tell you, it's a little bit weird, but I kind of am glad that South Park is making such a big resurgence and all these younger people are watching it because South Park you know, made fun of everyone. Yes. And that's how it used to be like, you know, not that I'm saying making fun of people is okay, but like if you made fun of people, you made fun of everyone across the board and that's what community does. And it's really good because you can get the joke, you know, it, you, they're everybody so quick to be offended by everything. And, and then sometimes the people that they're being offended for aren't even offended as in this case. Yeah. Um, it's interesting because they actually do handle it. And the show's been a long time since I've, I've seen that episode. But they said Brown pointed out there actually is a moment in the episode where Shirley literally calls what Chang is doing a hate crime mm -hmm. because it shows that Shirley didn't understand Dungeons and Dragons. Right. Uh, exactly. Like most of the people playing it now, the new <laughs> fans. What do you expect? Like when, Wizards of the Coast. When you have to make a, a coffee shop and prom, oh my God. you know, campaign to appease your current audience. You know you done fucked up and went too far. Yeah. I can't yeah. coffee shop the game. Oh, my God. You could, but... Uh, well, so, why would you? So it had been handled, she concluded, by them removing that show. We've lost a great episode I where agree. Charlie Coon shines. It's a great story about bullying and showing up for your friends, and I hope that they reconsider uh, so I can tell you that. So, yeah. Well, I, I agree mean, with you, hon. I do. I agree with you. This, again, we saw a lot of overcorrection. I think the... Charlie's based. Yeah, I think so. I, well... I, I'm thinking she's approximately our age. I'm not exactly sure how old she is, but, um, you know, we I are, thought she was older than us, but she I'm, might I'm, be older. Well, she was our age probably when she was on the show. So Maybe. Yeah. People age. Did you know that after the show goes off mm -hmm. the air and then you get this shock of seeing them on TV, like, my God, you don't look like you did 30 years ago. What happened? But if you ever watched community, like everybody there was a caricature and that was the joke. And, and, and Britta was the, the, Basically the equivalent of modern year Twitter and everybody yes. hated Britta. Yes. And I see Britta even had some growth yes. but, and, and, and started to realize that she was going too far. But everybody couldn't, couldn't stand Britta because she was so over the top ridiculous about everything. And even when she, like, she would just go look, find things to protest and, and it was just stupid. And then people just used Britta's protest as an excuse to do other things. It wasn't, that was the joke because you don't be like Britta. And now they're like... Britta is the new norm uh, for Twitter. Yeah, so they were talking about how they you know, did the game for the uh, the bullied uh, classmate, and um, then they had a sequel, Advanced Advanced Dungeons and Dragons in season five. How is that going to make sense if you don't have... If you don't have Advanced, you're like, what the hell is Advanced Advanced? <laughs> advanced and they did a new show. That they, did, they did the final season now, or another season now, that would be Advanced 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 Dungeons and Dragons when they meet at the coffee shop to play a game. They'll just call it 5E. Prom. They'll just call it 5E. Um, That's what, uh, well, they're going to do a movie, but they already said they're not. Oh, that was they're a not movie. Okay. They're not going to touch D. I'm like, no, you should. You should do, do. You put your fingers all over that. You should do that in the movie and then have them get 5E and be like, what the 
fuck am I looking at? But they what? won't because they're too busy afraid they'll offend somebody else. You know, do you think that they would do a good movie with community at this point? I don't think they could be, even if they wanted to, they wouldn't be able to. I don't know if they'd be allowed to. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like community wouldn't be made today. The office wouldn't be made today. People are complaining about friends. South Park, though, they just don't give a shit and they just keep on keeping on, you know, but they right. never, they never. But they make fun of everyone. Yeah, they very some, but the couple instances I think they did with the Muhammad episode, they had to buckle. But that, you know, for the most part, they're just like, yeah, fuck it, we're gonna say what we're gonna say and watch it, don't watch it, I don't give a shit. Then we had, um, we had one of the, I think it was one of the writers on She Hulk a couple of years ago before She Hulk came out, being like, well, South Park's the reason that we have the alt right or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, that's like, why. <sighs> yeah, I thought what? it was video games. I thought it was Comics Gate. I thought it was Gamergate. I really wish you'd make up your damn mind. Basically, it's we have the alt right because insert whatever politician you don't like or movement you don't like at the time. Pretty much, it's it's like you guys have become. Well, Twitter's why we have the alt left. Well, but the thing that gets me about that too is you know we make this comment all the time, but it's true. Back in the eighties, it was the religious right that was trying to ban the video games and Dungeons and Dragons. That's why they make fun of Shirley, her character. Rock and roll and all that. Now it's the religious left. And it is. They are. I mean, I'm sorry, you're a cult. You're a cult. You know, you're like the Twitter cult and the cancel culture cult. And everybody's so damn afraid of offending anybody that they they cancel something that is mostly innocuous. And some whatever um, organization they're sending all their money to that week is your tithe. Yeah. Trevor Project or whatever. Pretty else. much. You better tithe that. You can say whatever you want as long is, as you yeah. tithe it first. Yeah. So uh, just claim it. R.I.P. Comedy, I guess. I think until well, I'm I'm looking forward in, in that regard. I'm looking forward to the purge in Hollywood because I think what's going to happen is people are going to be like, yeah, we need to go back to making shows like this. We need to go back to and fuck all the other political well, it really stuff sucks that's coming for people up. People who want to do something fun and good, you can't. You're not allowed to do certain things. Like I said, how are they going to do a community movie? How? You used to be able to do that on YouTube, and now YouTube, you can't do that on YouTube. No, you can't do that on television. It's like you can't do that on te- it's, You can't do that on YouTube. YouTube has become so safe now, it's ridiculous. They basically want to be Netflix at this point. Mm-hmm. And it, it's, it's really, yeah, so, you know, there are going to be alternatives that pop up. People still want to laugh. People understand jokes. Normal people. Normal people understand Not just white jokes. straight guys. Not just white straight guys. People can take a joke. I mean, most people, we used to take jokes, but... Um, there it is, guys. So uh, Shirley defending defending the quote-unquote blackface episode of AD&D. Well, she's right. She's absolutely right. We're going to wrap it up? Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye. Pre-order the Clownfish TV comic book right now on Indiegogo. Go to clownfishtvcomic.com. That's clownfishtvcomic.com. This is a fun collection of all-new comic strips, based on dumb stuff we've said on the show. Again, that's clownfishtvcomic.com. You're gonna have to hurry. We're only taking pre-orders for a limited time. Now we're gonna get back into the show. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.